All right, so hello everybody. So first things first, um, just go onto this website here. It's where you'll find JIRA's X-ray test management app. Um, I will link this website below. So what I did is that I, I did start a free trial so you guys can do the same. Um, I signed in through my account and then I applied for the free, free trial and I got it. It's pretty easy to get it. So after that, what you can do is you can start creating your project. So you create your project and you wanna create it through Scrum. We're just gonna use this template and we're gonna select a company managed project, right? Let's call it a Python Essentials website training. And it's Scrum and it's company managed. So we're just going to create project. Right, so we're going to go onto our backlog and we're going to create a story right, what we need to do. Um, so our story, let's say we want to create a web page for my Python Essentials training website, okay? So we're going to create a for Python Essentials training website. So in our description below, we're going to follow the as I, uh, so that I can template for generally for stories, which this template over here is what you're going to write for your story description. So uh, let's say as a, as a customer, okay, let's say as a student, as a student, I want to, I want to go on to the website, the Python, the Python Essentials training website, website, um, so that I can view the home page. Okay, instead of web page, let's just turn that into a home page so that I can view the home page going to go into the acceptance criteria, which is given that I am on the home page. Okay, given that I'm on the home page, when I click on the sign up uh, button on the home page, I can sign up for classes and classes. So this is going to be our story. Uh, so you organize it, your story using the as a um, so that I can template. It's pretty helpful. It defines your goals clearly for your story. So we're just going to create that. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on our story. Uh, so I'm going to press control and just click it for Windows. And it's going to lead me to a new home page. So we see that we have our story created. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to project settings. Um, and then when you have um, the app downloaded, you'll see X-ray settings over here. So we're going to click on X-ray settings. And we're going to click X-ray issue types because we see right now they're not present. So when you click on X-ray issue types, we see that they're all present. So we'll have all of these added in. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go on to the X-ray settings and we're going to go on to miscellaneous and we're just going to enable the project settings and then we are going to save. These are just, uh, we're going to cover the basics here. Um, so for our test coverage, this is what we're going to test. So what I want to test is my story and let's say Epic. So we're gonna make test cases for these two things. So we're just gonna click on save. Save, and we're going to go next on to defect mapping. So defect mapping, let's say we're going to go with bug. All right, just the basics here. All right, so then we're gonna go back on to project. 
and we're going to go on to backlog and let's create a test. Okay, so let's say for our first test, well, this is a test case, so let's call it test case 0001 and let's say test create a home page. Okay, so in this test, we're going to create a home page. Okay. Create a home page. We now have um, this added onto our backlog, and we're just going to control click. And we see that this has been created. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is on precondition here, we see that it doesn't have any preconditions. So we're going to click and create a new precondition. So this precondition here is going to be, should be up, all right? Okay, so we're gonna click on that. All right, so then we're gonna head back onto our backlog. So we see here that um, our precondition has been made, right? It's been added to the test. So we're gonna go onto our backlog and we see that we have our story, our test case, our test, and our precondition for the test. So if you go on to your test over here, click on preconditions, you see that's been added in, right? So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go on to our test case and we are going to step. Yeah, so we're going to create a step here. So a step is what we want this test case to cover, essentially. So let's say for a step, we're going to go to data. We're going to go to the website, right? So I'm just going to copy this website that I have. I made this website um, when I had like um, a session for just basics of Python and I was teaching students. Uh, so it's a website, um, and at the end, it's, it's pretty simple, and it has like a sign-up page where when you click on it, it leads to a form where you can fill in your details, like your email, yada, yada, yada. It's pretty simple, All right? So we're going to create a home page, and so the test case is that when you go to this page, I want, when you go to Python Essentials training, I want the home page to show up, okay? So we'll create that. That's the first step. Um, let's say another step is if I click on sign up button, what I want is for this page to show up. And we're going to create that. So right here we have our two steps. We have one is that I want to go to this page and I want the home page to show up. The second thing is that when I click on the sign up button, I want this to show up. Okay, so now that we have this, what we can do is create a test set. So we're gonna go back on into our backlog and we can create a test set. So a test set is basically where we can put all of our, our collection of tests, right? So for this test set, let's call it TS, oops, TS001, um, website test set, right? So we're gonna create that and we're gonna click on our test set here. It doesn't contain any tests yet. So we're going to add on to our test set, the test that we made previously so we're going to click on this one that we have made, add that on, and we see that this has been added on to our test set. All right, perfect. So we're gonna go back onto our product backlog and we can see then that we have uh, this hierarchy in our set. So if we go onto our story, we have this hierarchy that's being made. So if we go onto our story, so if you click on your TC001, we'll see that uh, your story is here and you'll see the steps, right, that we added in before. And then you'll see the preconditions that we also added in. Website should be up, all right? So we see that's all linked together now. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to create 
our execution, right? So this is going to execute our test cases and let's call it TE001 execution for sprint one, okay? So we are going to create that. Okay, so we created our execution and now we're just going to create a sprint and we're going to add into our sprint everything that we have in our backlog and let's start the sprint. Okay, so let's call it sprint one. Let's put it in for one week and our sprint goal is going to be to create uh, a website with a home page and a sign up button uh, linking to a form. Okay, so let's start that. All right, so we see that we have our sprint one. And what we can do then is we can follow an order, right? put our story in progress. And our story, if we click on it, it was. Um, to do the following, right? So as a student, I wanna go onto the Python Essentials training website so I can view the homepage. So what we're gonna do now is you can follow these steps. You can create a homepage and you, you wanna see the homepage. So you would do exactly that. And then it says, given that I'm on the homepage, click on a sign up button. So you wanna add a sign up button that links to a form, yada, yada, yada. So once you do that, it is no longer in process and it's done. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna test for it, right? So we're going to follow the test. We're going to create a homepage and see if it works or not. And following that is going to be the precondition and the website should be up. That's going to be in progress and then it's going to be done. So now we're going to execute. Now we're going to put the execution for Sprint 1 in progress. And if we click on it, we will see this here. So you want to add our existing test that we have made. And our existing test was to create a homepage. We're going to add that in. And we're going to press play over here for our test. Okay. Then we're shown this website here and we're going to follow these steps over here so we're going to go to this website and what i want to see is this expected result to show up okay so this is you're executing it once you have finished it and if you have achieved if you've achieved the expected result what you can then click on is that it has passed and you can even add an evidence like a screenshot showing that it works same for the other one, you can execute it. You can follow the following steps. You wanna click on a sign up button and you want to be shown this expected result over here. Once you have finished that, you can press the green button and say that it has passed. Right, so we're gonna go back onto our active sprint and then we click on it again. We'll see that our test has passed, right? So we see here our test, test create a homepage has passed. All right. And then this lets other people know that we have done uh, and finished making the website, running the test and seeing that it works. Okay. So those are the basics of how to use the test management app, the x-ray test management app. All right. Thank you all for watching.